Wow, look at that. Welcome back to another shop update and we're gonna go ahead and talk about what's been going on, some of the new cars that showed up at the shop and what's going on with all this stuff that we have here behind me. Half of it's trash, half of it's sellable parts, I'm trying to make more room for other cars that are still coming, cars that we have purchased years ago and are in Japan ready to be imported and go ahead and get them over here to California and into this big old warehouse. First things first, we've got this thing behind me, our 2005 Honda S2000 with about 90 something thousand miles. We bought this car probably two years now and it's just been sitting at the yard. We're trying to clear up space. California real estate is extremely expensive. Uh, yard space, building space, warehouses, everything has gone through the roof. So we had to make some adjustments, get rid of some excess yards that we had for overflow and consolidate some of the yard space, which means that this project is finally in its home and we are gonna go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do next. Start tearing into this, see what we need to do engine wise. We have a ton of parts for this car already. We are creating new partnerships with uh, local brands here in California. One is not to be mentioned yet. Uh, we're finalizing the details on that, but hopefully all goes as planned and this will be supporting some of those parts as well. A ridiculous amount of money for what we have already in aerodynamics and visually on the exterior of this car. This car, you guys actually saw this in LA sometime in near the end of 2023. I can't remember really, maybe towards the end of summer of 2023. And it was pretty much complete. There are some final little details to go over on the car. We did not have a working and functioning parking brake. So that's one of the things that we are installing now because the Willwood brake system on the back was already set up with an internal drum brake that runs the parking brake on this car. So what we had to do was adapt one of those uh, e-stop electronically controlled parking brakes that mechanically pulls the cables for you at the push of a button. That's why this car is on the lift right now. It's getting all that installed. We are also readjusting the windows. As you can see, interior is back out of it. This is the beauty of working on resto mod American cars with new aftermarket parts. You have to adjust and fine tune everything that you get working on the car. You do not want a glass coming out of its channel and then either scraping a molding or the molding chipping some paint off because that shit would really suck. This is a very thorough and expensive paint job. Outside of the windows and the e-brake, this car is finished and ready to go. We are planning to drive this thing around a little bit, but we need to offload some projects that are finished to make room for new projects and funding and all that. So this will be for sale in the future, uh, likely on Bring a Trailer or through Private Party. But if you're interested in this car, it's a six figure car. It is extremely expensive. It is super rare to get. They are hard to find with no rust. This has zero rust, fully rust modded, four link rear, ride tech, two way adjustable coilovers all around 6.4 liter Hemi engine with a six speed manual transmission, vintage air, all the modern amenities that you need in a resto mod today. Big old meaty tires too. So we bought this JZX90 Chaser years ago. It was probably at the peak of the JZX90 market and we are currently stuck with it because it is an extremely low mileage JZX90 Chaser Tour V manual slick top one owner verified mileage vehicle. This has, I want to say in the mid 30,000 kilometer range, even the people that were offering us a lower number at a loss, just no show. And that's the beauty of today's marketplace and Facebook allowing the stupid, hi, is this available question uh, to be all over the place. Facebook and OfferUp now does that shit, so stupid. They throw you an offer and you're like, yeah, I'd consider that. And then just come out and check out the car and then they just, they go silent, no show, set up appointments, no show again. I mean, that's what you have to deal with with these import cars and getting people to come out here to see them. This Hakko, patiently waiting for its new valve cover. We currently have it over at Works Corsa, getting a new display plate and uh, breather system installed on it. Otherwise, this thing's tuned and ready to rock. But small oil leak back here near the back of the cylinder head on the valve cover is actually leaking on top of the exhaust manifold. So we cannot drive that car that will cause it to catch fire. So waiting to get that new valve cover gasket to install on the new setup. And then that car is good to go for a test drive. Makes just shy of 400 wheel horsepower, NA, six cylinder, ITBs, dual overhead cam. It's gonna be an amazing sound when we get that thing back on the road. This GTT, we don't really know what the hell we're doing with this car. We are in talks of trying to figure out whether we tear apart the black car. 
our black GTT that we showed you in a previous video and convert the black car into a GTR because we have all the panels or if we use this red car as our Too Fast Too Furious car. It's already converted. It's gonna get a respray anyway, just like the black car would. But all the hard work has been done by our contacts in Japan before the car got shipped out here since we had to wait almost two years to get this. It was at a shop getting converted for about a year and we'd be respraying the car anyway when we pull engine bay, do the whole body, the new C West kit has to be color matched. Yeah, so maybe turn this car into the Too Fast Too Furious car. This Evo 5, the Evo 5 is currently on the market. I have it on Facebook, Craigslist, OfferUp. It is a very clean and good example. We do have just shy of 95,000 kilometers on the car, so that's a relatively low mileage car. I did purchase all the components to do timing belt water pump service on this car. We are not gonna do that for the sale of the car. I do also have the rear fender flare welting that is color matched factory from Mitsubishi. I have those, I am going to install those for the sale. If I don't get any serious interest, then I'm really contemplating refinishing the wheels, put new tires on it, color sand and buff the headlights, make it all look good and copacetic and probably submit it to bring a trailer. We did see one just end in January and the pricing actually wasn't unreasonable. We wanna try our hand at cards and bids, but I don't think this example is one for cards and bids. I feel like this is better off at bring a trailer. The white Supra you just saw in the video, what the deal is for that. This guy is back up and running. Windows have been adjusted. Pulley has been flipped. Dog, this guy has been flipped around. We got an extended snout to go ahead and be able to flip that pulley around and make the belt and everything line up again. This car is tuned, done, good to go. Start taking it out to events. But as you know, the Supra is down now because of the transporter mishap. There is a bunch of Porsche parts on the ground that are for that 959 project. Now. We got reached out to by a subscriber that is extremely interested in our 959 project. We kind of have it on the back burner because there was a bunch of delays with getting the transmission set up, the dry sump for the K20C1 uh, Type R engine. Everything got super delayed, so we kind of sidelined the project until all those parts started to come in. And then we got reached out to and saying, hey, would you be willing to sell that project and actually want you guys to finish it, meaning us. So we're in talks right now, trying to figure out uh, what a good asking price is for the project. This thing does have 993 front and rear subframes. It is set up to be all wheel drive. So we have a 993 front differential, full 993 double wishbone rear suspension and subframe, all 993 front suspension with feel custom length adjustable coilovers on Swift Springs. That car is all set up to be an engineered to be all wheel drive as 959 as possible while not spending $2 million. So hopefully that comes through. We can make something happen for that client and do that project still on our channel and show you guys the end result. And I am going to keep blocking that car because I don't want you to see it yet because it is actually our first giveaway car. There you go, you get a sneak peek. That's it, no more peeking. All this shit, half this, some of it belongs to the 959, some of it belongs to a Porsche 928 we've been trying to repair a quarter panel on. Parts for sale, random shit, totes half empty, differentials, bike parts, all sorts of bullshit. All this crap needs to go. We need to get all that shit out of here so we can make room for more projects and more parts that are coming for this other project. Yeah. We have so much stuff here. There is an S54 motor, six speed manual transmission for that E30 convertible that you may or may not have seen in the channel. It's been a while since we showed it. You guys saw this car in the last video. And we explained what's going on with that. Right now we're waiting for all the upholstery materials to show up so we can uh, move forward and get the interior back together on it. This guy is still available. The only difference is that we had the wheels bead blasted and then polished and then clear coated. So that way it gives you this nice like kind of reflective mirror finish it looks really good actually on the car but we don't know what to do with it it is for sale but again not enough financial interest in the car to make a deal happen so it's just sitting what do we do with this thing i don't know i kind of want to put a big turbo on it uh wrap it in that like fast looking colorful bmw gt spec racing livery from back in like the early 2000s i think when they did it on the e46 or e92 chassis i can't remember kind of want to do that to this car and just lower it more and put some freaking te's on it or something crazy go really wide spec go lower front lip livery 500 horsepower that'd be sick 
I mean, it won't make it any money, but I don't know. The car's just sitting here. It's kind of dead in the water. Not finished. Needs to be for sale. This car is finished and restored. Car actually runs surprisingly well. It's still carbureted, but it is for sale. Our beautiful NSX will never be for sale. So don't ask about this one because this is staying with us forever because I love this car. I won't let anybody try to buy this car. There's, there's probably a number on it if someone came and was really ridiculous about it, but I never want to sell that car. H2 LMM diesel Duramax conversion with a six-speed Allison transmission. This car is done and ready for testing. I did drive this for a couple weeks before I found my new daily and we discovered an oil leak coming from the turbo drain. So the body had to come back off to get to the turbo drain, fix all the gaskets. Now this car, we had it sitting idling at all types of angles and elevations and there's no more oil leak. So I'm just waiting for the new license plates and registration to come back for this. I can go back to driving it for a few days, make sure it's all good and ready to go. And then Daryl can decide whether or not he wants to keep that as his secondary daily to the Sienna because this does fit a lot of dogs. It is really robust truck. And now with the LMM drivetrain and the six speed Allison with two wheel drive, four wheel drive option will actually get way better gas mileage. I think this will get around 25 miles per gallon with the six speed Allison and the way it's geared. So great secondary daily option. GR Corolla, that's it. I don't have anything to say about that. I don't know what the is going on. Waiting on some events to happen and take that car out again. But until then, it's just gonna sit, runs great. I want those seats for my car that's coming from Japan. This Brian O'Connor Ford Lightning, it's still for sale. I've gotten one serious offer at 30 grand. Unfortunately, that is not enough. If you guys don't remember our first video restoring that truck, I believe we stated how much we paid for it and that is barely under 30 grand. I think we paid 27 or 27.5 for that truck in completely stock unmolested form. It's gone through a full cosmetic restoration, brand new Michelin's, 99, 2000 spec wheels, fully refinished and powder coated, new grill, upper, lower, new moldings, new glass. The amount of stuff we bought for that thing is just absurd. We weren't ever really planning to sell it. We don't wanna just keep collecting. We wanna like keep building and produce new content and start using some of the other cars. We wanna sell this to fund something else that we can finish and then make new content out of. The reason why Daryl needs an SUV daily because he's selling this. This is for sale. 2018, 11,000 miles, rebuilt title from flood damage, no accident history. Use this car as a loaner for about eight months. We put the E43 badge in the bi-turbo everything because we put the E400, E43 coupe hood on it. The E43 estate never came in the US, so we made our own. This car is stupid fast, super reliable, super comfortable, and is actually great for kids. Has a rear-facing third row seat, plenty of room, seats lay flat. Good for dogs too. The FJ, everybody wants to know, when are the freaking windows gonna be done? We're working on it, honestly. This S13 Coupe CA18, DE automatic has actually been on the market for a little bit. I have it on my Facebook account. I have it on Craigslist and it's weird. Like everybody wants this car and for some reason the magic number is 10 grand and yeah, that sounds great, but you can't buy one of these right now. The only comparable is on the East Coast with similar mileage that is literally a CA18 DE automatic also without a reupholstered interior and they are asking 22 grand. I'm asking 15.5 and that will come with an S13 blacktop SR motor and transmission. If you want the car as it sits, it is $12,500. If you want the SR, it's only three grand. They cost a hell of a lot more right now to get from your JDM importer. This is an SR that we actually had running in our white BMW E30 that's over there somewhere. It is a good running motor. I have video of it running. <laughs> Yeah, so somebody buy this thing. I love it. It's so clean, but it doesn't make sense for us to do a basic street car for us. As you can see, our stuff is quite a bit more extravagant. My wagon, still for sale. CHP Mustang, not for sale. This Mazda Luce, 1974 
Mazda Luce automatic, low kilometers. We did a video on it when we received that and the S13. That's also for sale. I am going to be asking $39,000 US for that. That is imported, registered, titled. All our cars that we sell are imported, registered, and titled already. So you could title them in your respective state. What else? R33, just chilling. Tomei 2.8, resting away. Supra hardtop, single turbo. Also, just chilling, resting. FDRX7, project for a later date. I don't know when. That completes the trio of the black cars. And we do have an R34 GTR V-Spec that is coming from Japan any day now. We're just coordinating the container stuff and see if there's any other items we wanna put in the container to bring with us. Trying to work on those parts and figure out if we're doing endless brakes or if we're gonna work with Greddy and Grex on their new brake kit or what we're doing. That's our shop update. This is still kind of a cluster mess of stuff and trying to get organized so we could start taking in client work, be able to help support the community in, an, in another way outside of just making content. We wanna have you guys come out here check out the shop while you get your intake installed or your coilovers or whatever. We're set up to do all that work. We have the lifts, we've got the staff, and we've got the time. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking out this shop update. We'll see you guys next time. May cause irreversible damage to the kidneys and liver.